Hey, Psych2Goers. Was there a moment that you wish you could forget? Do you wish you could have gone back in time to make a different choice? Regret is a melancholic experience. You might look into your past, play out alternative scenarios, glamorize the ending you longed for, only to return to reality feeling a little depressed. So if you worry that you'll live on to regret some of the choices you've made or did not make, here are the biggest regrets people have later in life. Number one, living out your parents' expectations instead of your own. Did you give up your dream job for something else? Perhaps you've always wanted to be a musician, an artist, or a park ranger, but gave that up. Living out your parents' expectations is something many people are guilty of. You may be afraid of disappointing your parents, so much so that it affects how you approach some of your major decisions that you make in life, such as your career path or who you choose to be with. In letting people's expectations tie you down, you may be silencing the voice at the back of your head that wants to grow another way. While everyone's situations are different, it can be beneficial to set aside some time to truly think about what your goals are, regardless of what others want from you. Number two, not asking that person out. You ever have a crush on someone but never got the chance to speak to them? Romance can be a tricky thing to maneuver at a young age. You might feel anxious about the prospect of rejection, so much so that you never end up making the move. According to a survey from an article written by Adrian R. Camilleri, Romance beat out family, education, and career as the most common regret that people face. Number three, overworking. Do you sacrifice a lot of your personal life for your work? While it isn't inherently wrong to work hard, many people do so without thinking about why they do it. Hours spent in the office can detract from the time that could be spent doing the things you love or with the people you love. In fact, according to the book, Top Five Regrets of the Dying, Working so hard is one of the common regrets the elderly have. Number four, letting friendships fade away. Are you still close with your childhood best friend? Whether it's someone you've known since grade school or someone you just seem to be on the same wavelength as. Everyone has that person who played a large chapter in their lives. But sometimes you might find that you go from hanging out all the time to barely once every few months. It's sad, but losing contact with someone is something that can happen in a snap. And for many older folks, Reminiscing about the good old days and looking back at how friendships fell apart can leave a sour taste in their memory. Number five, hiding your true feelings. Was there a moment you chose to hide your actual feelings even when you wanted to explode inside? While it might've been easier to keep quiet at the time, being able to get things off your chest can pay off in the long run. When you hide your feelings, you prevent others from forming a genuine connection with you. This can perpetuate a cycle of loneliness and withdrawal that may make you feel worse, both mentally and physically in the long run. And number six, not accomplishing enough. Is there something that you've always wanted to do but never got the chance to try? We all have an innate desire to feel accomplished and successful no matter how grand or little it may seem to others. Perhaps you wanna learn how to ride a bike or grow a flower garden. Whatever the case, it's always ideal to listen to your heart and fight for the things that you want and believe in. By not pursuing the little or big goals you set for yourself, you're limiting yourself from truly making the most out of your time here. Do you have any regrets? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.